Well, although the state fair is canceled this year, crowds gathered at the fairgrounds today. It is all part of a fair food event that's running through next week. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live at the fairgrounds. And Bridget, it looked pretty packed from what we saw earlier today. How was it from your standpoint? Yeah, pretty packed indeed. Fair officials tell me that they don't have a way to estimate exactly how many people came through these gates, but it was busy, easily in the hundreds, which is causing concern for some. At first glance, this looks like the 2020 North Carolina State Fair. Hundreds of people milling around. A lot more than we were expecting. It's an 11 day event at the fairgrounds. More than 20 vendors are here with the food staples funnel cake, turkey leg, hot dogs. Sausage. <laughs> the event is supposed to be takeout only with no gathering allowed. We waited a really we long time. Social distancing and face coverings are required. Most people we saw were wearing masks, but not everyone. Yeah. All the vendors were wearing masks, but there was a mixed crowd of people wearing masks versus not wearing masks. Jody Conklin is one of the vendors. So here we offer 12 different flavors of frozen drink. As a business relying on fairs and festivals, this year's been tough with COVID-19. And so you're feeling and safe out here? We do, and I mean... We've been doing it since May, and everyone in our family has been tested a couple times, and we have no issues. They have social distancing markers and sanitizer in place. Everyone's done a great job with it. Under Phase 3, large outdoor facilities with a capacity of more than 10,000 guests can reopen at 7% of their seating capacity. A fair spokesperson said they don't see reaching a capacity at the fairgrounds where social distancing can't be maintained, although we spotted instances showing otherwise. Some attendees say all you can do is keep your distance and follow the rules. I mean, it's a tough time, but, you know, you can't stop living either, but, you know, you got to be safe. The fair says that they also spaced out the booths. They added extra hand washing stations and just encouraged people to follow the rules, which were posted in different areas like here behind me. And hopefully people will continue to do so. Live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. All right, Bridget, thanks so much for that.